If you look at a lot of the materials we have in the shelves here at NIST, things like pine, plywood, MDF, acrylic, uh, sheet metal, all of those things are just rectangles or squares with thickness, and they're generally flat. So that should be really easy to draw in Fusion. So let's say I wanted to draw myself a piece of pine for my idea. Uh, it's, I know it's going to be a flat rectangle, so I'm just going to choose rectangle. I can choose to draw it in three different places. I can draw it so it's flat on the floor here, up on its end facing uh, the direction you can see there, up on its end facing a different direction. I'm going to choose to draw mine on the floor. All right, so I'm going to click on that. It comes around a two-dimensional view so I can see it flat. I just click and drag out. Uh, you can see here I can alter the size by uh, putting some dimensions in. I'm going to make mine 150. I type that into that one. And if I hit tab, it allows me to go to the second box. I'm going to make the 300. Uh, obviously, you need to know the size of everything that you want to draw for your idea. So you should figure that out first. But I've already figured it out and I want 150 by 300. If I hit enter, that gives me my rectangular piece of pine. At the minute, it's just a flat uh, drawing, so it's not actually an object yet, it's not actually a piece of pine. If I click on stop sketch, it comes back around to a three dimensional view. Extrude uh, allows me to turn two dimensional objects into three dimensional objects. I can find that uh, by clicking here, or I can go into the menu and click extrude here. If I click on my shape, I can either drag that shape up to make it three-dimensional, or again, I can type the, the uh, exact measurement into here. Now, obviously, we only have certain thicknesses of pine, plywood, etc. in at NIST. So I've made, uh, been to the shelves, and I've figured out that we have 20 millimeter pine. So I have uh, added 20 millimeter to that size there. I'm happy it's 20 millimeters. I make sure it's a new body over here, and I click OK. And then that gives me my chunk of pine. Over here, you will see that I have a body. I can change that to the name of the part that I'm making. I'm making a, maybe a table, and that pine piece I've just drawn is my top. So I'm going to put top, and that then helps me figure out which part is which later on. You can do this for any material, plywood, acrylic, uh, anything else that I mentioned before, to draw flat objects.